There's a thunderstorm. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lana, and I'm a 14 year old that resells on the platforms Poshmark and Macari. So, today I'll be showing you what sold on the platforms Poshmark and Macari. So, if you end up liking this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Both of those really help my channel and boost it up into the algorithm. So, I'd really appreciate that. Also, I'll leave my Poshmark and Macari link down below along with my Instagram if you want to follow more along my reselling journey. So, let's just get on to the video. So I'm just going to pop up the photos of what sold over here. So the first thing that sold on Macari were a pair of Timberland white ledge waterproof boots. Um, those sold for full price on Macari for $50. I paid $6 for these at Goodwill and they sold in a few days of getting listed and I'm very happy with that. So the next thing that sold on Macari was an Old Navy Blue Grand Canyon graphic tee. I had it listed as, as a size small, but it was actually a size medium. It was new with tags and I bought it at Plato's Closet for $5, which if I were to pick it up now, I probably wouldn't pay that much for it. Um, but it made me profit and I'm happy with that. So it sold for $19 full price and I made $17.10 on that with a selling fee of $1.90. And then the next thing that sold on Macari and the last thing that sold on Macari in the month of August so far was this Bowden Collage Spot Jersey Wrap Dress in a size 8 which is like a medium on Macari sizing because you can't put like the actual eight. Um, I got an offer for $36 and I accepted it. So it sold three days ago and I only had that listed for a couple of days. It did have a very small um, hole on it, which I was happy about. That was my first time finding Bowden. And I think I hauled that in a video. And the first thing to sell on Poshmark in the month of August so far uh, sold on August 2nd. And it was a toured gray, like purplish gray gauze lace inset tie blouse in the size 4X. It sold for $23. I got an offer for $23 and i had an earnings of 18 dollars and 40 cents on that tour normally sells pretty fast for me but i do have a tour blouse that's been sitting for a few months but normally it sells pretty fast in the around 20 dollars but it normally does better for me on makari so i'm happy to sell this the next thing that sold was on august 3rd it was a junk food gray like it had the beatles brand or band on the graphic it was black and it had no size tag but it measured a size small I actually had bought it in a bundle um, on Poshmark but it didn't fit me or yeah it just didn't fit me so I sold it for $20 and I had an earnings of $13.88 which I profited on that shirt I think I paid like $4 from um, Poshmark in a bundle so I'm very happy with that then I had a few days of no sales, and then on August 6th... The next thing that sold was on August 6th, it was a Capelli straw hat with like these wooden detail animal figures. And that sold for $20, and I profited $16. I actually got that at the bins, like when I first started reselling, so probably I probably picked that up in like February. Um, it was a hat, so it was kind of hard to ship out, but I figured it out and she sent me a really nice love note. The next thing to sell was on August 9th. It was American Eagle Stretch Distressed Mom Jeans. It was a size four short 
and I priced it at $30 and I sold full price. She actually sent me an offer and then a few minutes later she just bought it at full price, which I'm fine with. Um, so I made a profit of $24. Don't sit on American Eagle jeans, like distressed jeans especially. If it's the newer tag or it's like they have a, a date tag in the tag, if it's like a newer style, I would definitely pick it up. And those were only listed for a few days and normally American Eagle sells within a week for me. The next thing to sell on August 10th was this No Bad Days oversized biking graphic tee. It was a size large and I bought it for a dollar at Goodwill. It sold for $25 and I profited $20. This next sale was a bundle of two things. It sold on August 10th also. It was, I got one thing at Players Closet 90% off sale, which was this Maeve Verena pink tie front blouse or a tank top in a size medium. And these BDG Urban Outfitters mid-rise Alexa distress shorts in a size 28. The bundle price, she sent me an offer for $40, which was like $10 off my asking price and I accepted it and it sold for $40, so I made $32, which I had very little into that bundle, so the profit was pretty good on it. The next thing to sell was a J. Crew Factory gray pineapple graphic tee. It had this cute little pineapple graphic in the little pocket right here. It sold for $15 and offered $15, and I made $12. I think I picked this up for like a dollar at Goodwill, so I'm happy with that. Normally, J. Crew Factory doesn't sell for that much because it's the factory version of J. Crew. J. Crew Factory is normally the cheaper version, and I think that's normally sold at the outlet, so I'm happy with the sale. The next thing sold on August 14th. I woke up to an offer on these jeans. It was a pair of vintage Wrangler straight leg blue denim jeans. They sold for an offer of $25 and I probably could have got more for them but it was a size 24 so which is a smaller size and I had these for a few months and I got them at the bin so I probably paid like a dollar or two for them um, and I profited $20 on them. And I'm just happy to get these out. These got a bunch of likes the first time I listed them, then I relisted them, and then they got like no attention. So this next thing that sold was on August 16th. It was a Blue Island Lemon Bell Sleeve Tunic Cover Up. I got these in donations, and I just went through the donations that I had left in my garage a few weeks ago. This sold in just a few days. I think I had this listed at $30. And I got an offer for $20 and I accepted that and I profited $16 pure profit since I got them in donations. It was size large and it was new with tags. I think she bought it at TJ Maxx. So I sold it for more than she bought it for, which is nice. Yeah. I had a few bags of donations sitting in the garage for a while and I went through them and found these packs and Men's Distressed Acid Wash Skinny Jeans. Personally, not my style, but these were men's. Um, I These got a lot of attention and I got an offer for $15 and I profited $12 per profit. The next thing to sell was on August 17th. It was a J. Jill Wherever Collection Teal Tank Top in a size 2X. I think I had this listed for $20 and I got an offer for $10 within an hour. I paid $3 for this so it was a quick flip. So I profited $7.05. This next thing, this was just like the month for donation sales or something. Um, this sold on August 18th. It was a vintage polo Ralph Lauren cropped purple polo shirt. It sold for $25 full price, and I profited $20 full pure profit. The next thing sold on August 19th, 
It was a Kalia by Carrie Underwood twist sleeve workout tee. It sold for $18. I sent out an offer on that and I profited $14.40. That item was sitting for a while. It did have a small mark on the sleeve, I think, but it sat for a while, so I don't normally pick up that brand anymore. That was my first time testing out that brand and it just sat. So I don't think I'll be picking it up anymore. This next thing sold yesterday, August 22nd. I was sending out an offer to Likers, like 30% off offer to Likers with discounted shipping because I hadn't had a sale in like one day and I was trying to get the sales. Um, this was the newest tag, Thread and Supply blush pink button up shirt. It sold for $18 with discounted shipping and I made $12.28. This next thing I had kept for myself for a while. This also sold on August 22nd. It was a Led Zeppelin blue short sleeve graphic tee in a size large. It was pretty pilled and I disclosed that in the listing obviously. Um, but I kept this for me to sleep in but the material was just so thick. I made $12 on this and I think I bought it for like $4. And then this last thing also sold on August 22nd. It was Nike Air Max Full Ride TR 1.5 gray running shoes. These were from donations so it's pure profit. I sent out an offer for $49 and discount shipping and she countered. $40, they were size 11, and I just accepted that offer. I had them listed for like a week and a half, and my earnings were $32 pure profit. So that's all that sold so far in the month of August. I hope you liked this video, and if you do, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Both of those really help grow my YouTube channel and boost them up into the algorithm, so that's greatly appreciated. Um, I'll leave both of my accounts that I resell on Poshmark and Macari down below along with my Instagram and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys!